you know, Sleeping Beauty goes to sleep. She has parents who are quite old, and so they're pretty desperate to have a child. So they have a big christening party, right? And they invite everybody, but they don't invite Maleficent. She's everything that you don't want your child to encounter. So the king and queen say, well, we just won't invite her to the christening. It's like, well, good luck with that. And they apologize to Maleficent when she first shows up. We forgot, you know, you don't forget something like that. And she kind of makes that point. You don't forget about that when you have a child. The question is, do you invite it to the party? And the answer is, it bloody well depends how unconscious you want your child to be. And if you want your child to be unconscious, well, then you have the added advantage that maybe they won't leave home. And so you can take advantage of them for the rest of your sad life. So Sleeping Beauty, she's naive as hell. They put her out in the forest and have her raised by these three, like, goody-two-shoes fairies. And then the first idiot prince that wanders by, she falls in love with so badly that she has post-traumatic stress disorder when he rides off on his horse. That's when the spinning wheel, that's the wheel of fate, pops up and she pricks her finger, falls down unconscious. Well, she wants to be unconscious. She's so damn naive that her first love affair just about kills her. She wants to go to sleep and never wake up. And so that's exactly what happens. 